Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I am very grateful to Mr. Tushar to invite me today over here in this very important uh, HR conclave under uh, ICSI. I had a meeting with uh, Ms. Mamta in Dubai some time back, and um, while discussing, you know, she referred me that she, I'm a very frequent traveler to Ahmedabad. Um, I should uh, meet Mr. Tushar, and meeting him was a great experience. And knowing about the functionalities and the importance of uh, CS and the institute as an ICSI, I was very overwhelmed by the presence about uh, its A plus chapter and about among the 70 chapters you are having in India. Today, you know, in this in this uh, uh, room, esteemed members from the three classified groups are met, are uh, are present over here. Some of them are wearing two caps. One is the institute as an ICSI, one as an HR uh, companies, and a few are from uh, from the CS positions from the STEAM organizations. And in this, the most important uh, two, three things I want to say about CS is as a company secretary, it's a, uh, if, the promoters are the heart of the company, then CS is the brain of the company. It is the power behind the board. The promoters and the board of directors always think of, of, of the company running in the direction of excellence, uh, uh, in, the, in the growth. In that growth, the company secretary holds a very critical uh, role and a position. Like we, if we talk about fast cars, the implied need of the fast cars are good brakes. So, you know, if you have a Ferrari without brakes, then, you know, it will meet with an accident in no time. So, the, and, and the most important role of the, of the company secretary is proactive. Rest all, all, the, all, the, all the authorities beyond the sales and marketing, what we see as, as an accounting and auditors and all, these are reactive roles, whereas the company secretary is a very proactive role. And company secretary, as I will not say, uh, as another word used as a, as, a, as a company governance officer, plays a very critical role in making sure that the company is going on a path of sustainability. Now, every corporate's aim is to sustain for a longer time. And in that sustainability journey, CS plays a very important role. Now, compliance is a, is a very important subject. And there are, as we say that, you know, there are no shortcuts to success. It's a very uh, statement by Mr. Narendra Modi that there is uh, shortcut will cut you short. So increasing the life of the company the company secretary position is very important in making sure from A to Z the compliance and the uh, and the and and the correctiveness in all all the states. As the laws have been changed, the very India has gone into a, a, a great evolution in last two years. In very recent evolution has changed the dynamics of the market, changed the dynamics of, of the way we do business, the way business is going to happen. In this, the CS position is very important. Another thing, you know, what, what I'd like to say is that the, the, the CS company secretary role is, is not just maintaining the records or maintaining the, the, the status, the status of the company in in a, in aligned with the laws, but it's like the big corporates. Small mistakes in the big corporates has a heavy damage. In in a small company, even the big mistakes are, are are cheap, but in the in the corporate, the small mistakes are expensive. And not to commit those or not to indulge in any, the com company secretary is always vigilant on the do's and don'ts in every aspects of of the of, of, of the root of the company. May it be with the clients, may it be with the government, may it be with the stakeholders, 
may we be with their uh, employees. So keeping things in place and, and, and looking for a sustainable growth is, is the main uh, co uh, vision of, of, of the CS. Many companies, you know, corporates we see in India, like, like Tata and all are look with a pride because their corporate governance is so high that they are trendsetters for many laws which, which international law which but like like one of the very important like a maternity law maternity leave was implemented by Tata and then the rest of the world followed it so they are the trendsetters and a good governance always creates a greater image and a brand building of a company and this brand is always looked with respect there are many emerging corporates with, with maybe exceeding Tata, but you know that, that uh, the, the values what Tata has or values a company has in, in, in creating a good governance and this good governance can be achieved with a good CS in the, in the company and a CS positions in, in the company. Another thing you know I'd like to say is that uh, as uh, um, Mr. Chetan said about, uh, about, the, about the trainees. See, trainees are, are the catchment for the next industry. They are, they are the one from the, from the graduation and, and will be leading uh, positions in the, in the years to come. Uh, I remember in one meeting with the uh, Honorable Prime Minister, you know, and a few industrialists were present in that, and he, he emphasized to all the industrialists that give, uh, create positions in your company for trainees and give room to the trainees who will be a great asset for your company in the years to come. Maybe you have four trainees recruited now and one of, one of them or two of them may excel so well and will hold a senior positions in your company later on. So instead of the trainees after 12 months or two years looking out for a job outside your company, if you feel the strength and, in, and induct in your own company with that position they will be a great asset because it's already they are know they are known and familiar with the with the with the with the work of your company. So this is a very important uh, role of the trainees, uh, which are the future uh, assets of the company. Second, you know, in, in the in the HR, normally um, uh, CS and as an as a trainee or or the as an entry level as a CS is mo many a time confused with, with a clerical job or just a documentation. But uh, the very important thing in this governance and documenting thing is the difference required is an intelligence to identify the right thing, uh, right and the wrong. That's why you know it takes two good years after become to become a CS. Uh, uh, so if, if, a, if a become and CS you consider as same, then you know the two years wouldn't matter. But here it requires a good two years to become a CS. So this this two years transform this uh, a graduate into into a, a governance officer, wherein you know he is capable of handling the the legalities. As as Mr. Chetan very rightly said that there are uh, so many there are no areas where a CS doesn't have a say into it. So that that transformation of of a person from become to CS has, has a great value in it and I'm sure the HR sitting over here has that uh, understanding and and uh, will definitely you know pay emphasize on on pursuing to the companies to create such positions. Now with the, with the laws coming, uh, laws changing in Dubai also we, we have uh, taxation you know in, uh, tax coming in VAT is the first tax going to be starting from 1st uh, January 2018. So a great uh, field of the CS is uh, uh, going to emerge in that uh, required potential is going to come up in the entire Middle East. And a lot of chartered accountants and, and, and um, are, are our friends in Dubai, all the top five, top four are, uh, I know the managing partner and they all were saying that now the compliance in Dubai is also going to increase a lot. So. And professionals, when we look into the Middle East, are mostly many come from India. All, or I will say, the, all the top brains in in the in the top corporate or MNCs in 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 the Middle East 
are from India. So, you know, that will also emerge as a good opportunity for uh, ICS and I, I feel, you know, right now you have a, you have a examination center in Dubai, very soon you can have a chapter in Dubai, you know, as a chartered accounting has one. So, you know, it, it has a good, great opportunity. Thank you.